Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be doing a video on Supergirl Season 5 and why Monel should return. So I know I've made videos to do with Monel returning, but this is different. This is going to be me going through all the different reasons as to why he should return and why I think he has to return. Not in terms of my subjective opinion, but as an objective thing as well. There's a mix of different sort of theories and ideas in this video so if you do go on to enjoy the video please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DCTV videos later this year. Okay so I just want to congratulate Chris Wood and Melissa Benoist for their engagement. If you guys didn't see it it was all over Twitter and everything and I went to school and I was in my lesson and I didn't check my phone and when I did I just had to give myself a minute to kind of just clock this was reality and I'm just so excited for them because as you know I'm a massive fan. Melissa is one of my favourite actors working today and Chris is up there and mainly because I love him as Monel. And so I'm such a big fan of them on screen as a romance, but also I really like them as, you know, people and actors. And I've seen Melissa in real life from Broadway. She's incredible. And I just want all the happiness and all the success to go to both of them. And this is just so exciting. And so if you guys are very happy with them, let me know in the comments down below. So why am I bringing up the engagement? Why does that have anything to do with whether Monel will return or not in Supergirl Season 5? So, as you know, Melissa is going to be continuing doing Supergirl as long as it's on, and I believe it's got many years to go. And with their engagement, that means that they are going to be together. They're going to be living with each other as they have done for the past year or so, but continually, unless, you know, they have a shoot in LA, one person has to be in Canada or something like that. But yeah, so he's always going to be around, he's going to be around the Vancouver area when Melissa's there, and therefore, whether he's doing his projects or not, he has time. If he can allocate it, he's in the right area, he's right near, so if Chris wants to do it, and if the story is right, as they've said, as the showrunners have said, there is a total opportunity, and I think Supergirl should actually latch on to this opportunity to bring him back as he is a fan favourite and Chris is a fan favourite but also Monel is a fan favourite character and there is a lot of backing behind them and it was such a big part of season 2 and season 3 especially with in season 2 him leaving and them developing this relationship but then in season 3 with him not there for the first part and with him returning it was such an emotional impact on Kara and it affected the whole rest of the season due to him actually being with Imra and him being married and they couldn't be together and it was about their journey. That was the main story arc of season 3 and season 2 was predominant on that and it really worked and so they have a great relationship together and I believe that Monel being a fan favourite but also being so critical to season 2 and season 3 and being critical to the development of Kara as a character, I believe he has to return. There is no way you cannot bring him back in my opinion, obviously that's just subjective but from what I can see everything is lining up for a return and yes they said he's not returning for season 4 but they only said season 4 and they also specifically said that they are open for Chris to return and for Monel to return in that same interview on TV line quite a while ago. And so, the next point is, the CW have a great relationship with Chris. Chris was a massive character in the Vampire Diaries. I've not watched the whole series, but I've seen different snippets, you know, different episodes. And that has a big fan base, and Chris was a big part of that in parts. And he was beloved on there as Kai Parker. And also, he made the move, and he was on containment for a while which was in fact a CW television series that didn't last very long but he was on there and it was a CW television series so they really really did like Chris and then he moved on to Supergirl where he was around for two seasons and so when you look at his resume and see his connection to the CW it is great they love him they know that he's got a lot of fans and they know he's a really good actor and they will use that sometime in the future and I think it may be in season 5, and I think it should be in season 5. And so, another reason as to why Monel should return in season 5 is due to how it ended and how the relationship sort of went on from the ending of season 3. 
with Kara and Monel ending off on a rather kind of sour note, a sort of bittersweet note, with them being destined to be together, as they say in the dialogue. And it was just a matter of circumstance of how they wrote it that Monel had to be in the future and Kara had to be in the present, but they are destined to go back together. And that's why you haven't seen Kara having any other relationships, because they are waiting for the point where you can bring back Monel, because I feel like with the way they ended in Season 3 with Monel, you can't just go and, you know, do the same thing that Monel did and go get a husband in terms of Kara. I don't think Kara's going to do that. Unless they, you know, never bring back Monel, then I think in a few years you could do that, but not straight away. And I think that's definitely why you haven't seen that yet. And so another reason for Monel returning in Season 5 would be that Wynn is confirmed to be returning. We know he's been in the future this whole time. He's working with the Legion of Superheroes. They went to the futures together. That was the last scene that we saw of Wynn and the last scene we saw of Monel. They were in the ship together going to the future. And so in the future, they're presumably working together and everything's going well as they try and take down the evil version of Brainiac. And so if Wynn is returning to the present next season, you would presume it would make sense if they at least bring Monel back for maybe a cameo or for a bigger part of the season as they do plan to do with Win. Chris, as you know, currently is working on his own projects. He recently had the debut of his short film, The Stew, which I'm very excited to see. I don't know how we're going to specifically see it if we're not at some of these short film festivals, but essentially it's a passion project for Chris and it's his directorial debut. And so for now, he's got another project that he's working on. But the thing is, they are only short films and they do take a lot of time, right? They can be finished by the end of summer and that is when Supergirl Season 5 will begin to shoot. So I believe he'll be free unless he wants to continue going down bigger paths in terms of his career behind the camera. But there is definitely an opportunity and a window for Chris to return as Monel next season. And so one of my last points that I want to go over is Crisis on Infinite Earths. So Crisis on Infinite Earths, as you know, is the crossover next year and it is really massive. It is so important and Monel plays a small role in the event in the comics as he is one of the chosen heroes to help save the universe along with Superman from Earth 1 and Superman from Earth 2, Captain Atom, uh, one of the Green Lanterns, Wonder Woman, and a range of other heroes, including Supergirl. So if they're going to, you know, follow a certain way that the comics go, you would have mon and Supergirl fighting together with Firestorm and Jean Jones, as it is in the comics. So that would make sense if you had those teams and mon was to return. If it was a crisis sort of event that was going on, that the whole world was going to die, the Legion of Superheroes would know about that, and... Monel would be back and maybe we would see Win as well, maybe this is the way they bring back Win because it's such a massive event that they would 100% notice and it would be a bit silly if they didn't bring back Monel for that. And so my final point is the 100th episode. So if you guys have seen my video recently about who should appear in the 100th episode, go check it out. I talk in depth about why Monel, why Cat Grant, why Maggie Sawyer and everyone should return for the 100th episode. But I'll give you a brief sort of synopsis of what I said in that video. The 100th episode in Arrow and The Flash brought back tons of characters. So in terms of The Flash, we had Zoom with shooting new scenes, we had Reverse Flash in new scenes, and we had Savitar in repeated scenes. So we had different time travel elements in The Flash, and then in Arrow we had tons of characters return. We had Moira, we had Tommy, we had all the villains all appearing for a massive fight inside that crossover episode that was the 100th episode. So I believe this should 100% happen with Supergirl, I believe there should be loads of returning characters, even if they're just popping up in different scenes. I think this would be another chance to bring back one hour. Maybe they do bring him back in the 100th episode, then they keep him for the crossover, and then he goes on from there. So anyway, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DCTV videos later this year, and I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.